if you guys don't have this, this is the one plugin like I'm recommending to everybody because this thing does something unique that I haven't heard anybody else do. Um, so what Soothe is is basically like an intelligent de-esser. So it's going to find whistling things, things that are obnoxious, and it will selectively remove them if it exceeds a threshold. And so we adjust the threshold with the depth knob. We can adjust how wide of the frequencies or how broad the peaks are that it's going to be finding the resonance bands of. And then we can have it identify a uh, selectivity. To my ears, if it's more selective, it's going to focus on a certain frequency range over, over another. So for mastering, it's usually better to have it a little bit less selective so that it will more evenly remove frequencies from, from all over and not just pinpoint one thing unless there's just one small problem area. I almost ran out of breath, man. That was a long explanation. But I want them to play the song, and then we're going to put this in delta mode so we hear what it's taking out. Okay, And I'm sure I've said this a million times in my live streams, but... We're going to listen for the area where it sounds the te most terrible, okay? Find the bad region to our ears. Try to make it as specific to those frequencies as possible, and then we'll get rid of that, okay? It, we shouldn't be removing anything that sounds musical. We shouldn't be removing things that sound like instruments. If it sounds like an instrument, you don't need to soothe on it, <laughs> basically. At least that's my, my philosophy, okay? So let's, um, let's play a song. Let's find some stuff. Okay, so if we dig in, this is what it's doing. So you can hear there's this one whistling frequency here on 2K. And then I'm willing to bet that there's gonna be something around here when we get to this, this like breakdown part. Let's see. So if it's, like I said, if it sounds musical, we don't need suit. Okay, let's um, move this crap out of here. Okay, so let me explain what I'm doing with these things. So this is the detector circuit. If we take a band and push it up, what it's doing is it's increasing the level or the sensitivity in this region for this to attenuate out. What that means is if, we, if we're taking too much of like this, like vocal out we can do this and it will it's a lot harder to detect the vocals then at this region so then you can attenuate more of this other stuff that's annoying and as awesome as this plugin is you got to be super careful because you think it sounds awesome and and uh you come back the next day and everybody has like a lisp the drummer has like this cymbal sound like they have a lisp on it. Like there's all these things that, that start happening when you when you go overboard with, with Soothe that'll ruin completely ruin the master. So um, this I think is a good starting spot. Okay, so let's now we're gonna adjust the sharpness and, and uh, selectivity. Again, we're aiming for a terrible sound, right? It's pretty musical right now, but that's because we're digging in so deep so we can hear what's going on. When we dial it back, it'll just be like these ringy things that we don't really hear, but it, it makes it painful to listen to if we were to crank this up in our car. Yeah, so when, it's, when we have the selectivity lower, it's starting to find these other resonant bands and these other regions that are kind of annoying, so... Cool. I, I think I think we're in a good spot. So let me put this back to zero so I don't blow everybody's ears out. And we're just gonna push this up. And I'm a big wuss. I'm like scared to like make commitments, like 100% commitment. You know what I mean? So like I always like to dial this like 80%. I want to let some of the natural signal through. I don't want everything to be processed by Soothe. So. And that's just, that's just like my philosophy on mastering, I guess. So way too much, right? Sounds like everybody has a lisp.
That's it. Little things. So like when you have this spacey ambient lead, it just helps to tuck it back a little bit in the mix. See, without it, it, it kind of starts sounding, it starts like whistling, right? It's like, it gets louder. And it's, and it's, it's not louder in a pleasant way. It's louder in like a, ki- a slightly annoying way. Yeah, there you go. You can hear it. Especially that, that high frequency note. There you go. That's Soothe, guys. Soothe is awesome.